Three-year-old Philly pays for $36,081. Total purse, $300,671. Sponsored by Tattersalls in the Red Mile. These are the horses. Number one, Mississippi. Charles and Julie are Francine Nash of Lexington, Kentucky. Brett Schultz, Trains. Two a ten lifetime, twenty four thousand earnings, one fifty five at Hoosier Park. The one Mississippi and the driver, Eric Ledford. Number two, Popcorn Penny. John Lay and Anderson Racing and Corporate Jane Cummins of Illinois and Kentucky. Joe Anderson trains. Five of ten lifetime, one fifty and four at Balmoral. Number two, Popcorn Penny and Ryan Anderson. Number three, Arts Virtue. Arlene and Jewel Segal to New Hope, Pennsylvania. Jim Campbell trains. Ten of 17 lifetime. Earnings $935,000. One fifty and three at the Meadowlands. The three, Arts Virtue and John Campbell. Number four, Armbro Terrace. Armstrong Brothers Inglewood, Ontario. Ben Wallace trains. Five of 21 lifetime. 286000 in earnings. One fifty-five at Mohawk. The four, Armbro Terrace and... David Miller. Number five, Delta Shuttle. Robert Heemstra of Estero, Florida. Ed Hart trains. Seven of 19 lifetime. 208,000 earnings, 152 and one at the Meadowlands. The five, Delta Shuttle and Ron Pierce. Number six, Full of Life. Brittany Farms for Sales, Kentucky. Alan Regal trains. Nine of 18 this season, 91,000 in rings, 153 and two at Hoosier Park. The six, full of life, and Mike Lachance. And number seven is Penny Thing Goes. Peter Pan Stables and Carpet of Pepperbike, Ohio. Ivan Sug Drains, seven of 25 lifetime, 384,000 in earnings, 154 at the Meadowlands. The seven, Penny Thing Goes, and George Brennan. Second division, Jugget, three-year-old Philly Pace from the inside out, Mississippi. Popcorn Penny, Arts Virtue, Armbro Terrace, Delta Shuttle, Full of Life, Penny Thing Goes. The Great Coon starting gate swings into the stretch and here they come for the second division of the Jugget. Then facing Arts Virtue goes Lee with Popcorn Penny on the inside. Racing third, Armbro Terrace. Fourth on the outside, full of life. Racing up fifth as they race around the turn. Delta Shuttle now fourth. Racing sixth down the backside. It's Mississippi and trailing the field off stride. Penny then goes. Going to the first quarter mark. Popcorn Penny. Opening quarter 26 and 2. As they race into the turn, going to the 3 8 mark. Hearts Virtue racing second. Moving up on the outside. Ron Pierce and Delta Shadow. Now second and going right on. After the leader, David Miller comes to the outside with Armbro Terrace as they pass the 10 of the first time. Full of life, racing fifth. Mississippi is sixth. As they race over to the half, the trailer Penny Thing goes. Halfway home, 55 and 3. 29 and 1, second quarter to the backside. Ryan Anderson and Popcorn Penny on top of the field. Up on the outside, Devil Shadow second. Racing third, locked in is Arts Virtue. Moving down the backside, Armbro Terrace is fourth. Racing fifth, full of life. Those five of start battling it out, going to the three-quarter mark. Three wide on the outside. Coming on, David Miller and Armbro Terrace. Three quarters, 124 and one. 28 and three, third quarter. Popcorn Penny with the lead. Armbro Terrace on the outside, second. Trapped on the inside, Arts Virtue off stride, but comes right back pacing. Now three wide, down the stretch they come. Popcorn Penny in front. Second, Armbro Terrace finishing third. Arts Virtue, one, 53 and four. Stands and moving to the winner's circle. Number two, Popcorn Penny. 
John Leo and Anderson Racing Incorporated in Jane Cummings of Illinois and Kentucky. Joe Anderson trains, making his first driving appearance in Delaware, Ohio, a winning one, 20-year-old Ryan Anderson. Three-year-old Philip Dragon's Lair to dual tracks. Sixth win in 11 this season. Pacing home a winner in 153 and four. Final half, 58 and one. The final quarter, 29 and three fifths. Popcorn Penny and Ryan Anderson win the second division of the Jagat. Yeah. Sure is a big filly, isn't she, Dave? Popcorn Penny scoring here in 153 and four. And Ryan Anderson just has to be tickled to death with this one. Well, we heard from Joe Anderson with Trish in the backside. Chances are we'll hear his impressions after the race pretty soon with Ellie, too, as uh, Popcorn Penny makes her way back to the paddock area after winning the eighth race, second elimination of the Jughead, and that result is official. Results are official.